the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body and blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Sancti Michael Archangeli, defende nos in prelio, contra nequitia et insidias diaboli est opresidium, impedidiri Deus supices reprecamor, tu quae princeps nice celestis, satanam reosque spiritus manignos, quae perdizione manimarum pervagantur in mundo, divine virtute in infirm de trude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we prepare to enter into these sorrowful mysteries coming before Jesus Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God, I'm offering the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass for all of you on this first Friday. Actually, I should say offering it for all those who are St. Philomena's co-workers. Uh, but hopefully that's all of you or most of you. So those who are making this ministry possible by your contributions each month to Regina Angelorum Press or to Ave Philomena, and who are making it possible at a much deeper level by your sacrifices, by your prayers, by your sufferings. So for all of you, accept my heartfelt gratitude and know that the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is offered for you today. And then for all the souls in purgatory, especially those who are the most forgotten, for all those who are in jail or prison because of their pro-life witness, those who've courageously decided, for example, to peacefully pray, blocking a clinic door, that some children might be saved, that mothers might rethink their decision, and who are now suffering in jail or in prison. For all those in need of healing, including Sam, that he might especially be close to our Lord's Sacred Heart, if it be God's will, receive healing. And then also for a young man named Brandon, who was just in a terrible car accident that our Lord would be close to him, and if it be God's will for his healing. St. Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions, and protect us with thy mighty staff. Thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my family. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Punctius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, fervor in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, a spirit of mortification. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning of thorns, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, moral courage. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, patience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Savior upon the cross. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, forgiveness of injuries, and a spirit of self-sacrifice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Regina Celi Laetare Alleluia Qui o quem eruisti portare Alleluia Resurrexit sicut dixit Alleluia Ora pro nobis Deum Alleluia Gaudet et laetare virgo Maria, Alleluia. Quia surexit Dominus vere, Alleluia. Oremus. Deus, qui per resurrectionem fili tui, Domini nostri, Iesu Christi, muniti vicari dignatus ens, presta quesumus, ut per eus centricem virginem Mariam perpetue capiamus caudia vitae. Perium dem Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. May Almighty God, through intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour His graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. And we'll have now the sixth day of preparation for the total consecration to Jesus through Mary. In case you joined us late, since this is the first Friday, and the first Friday of the beautiful month of Our Lady, the Mass, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, I'm offering today for all of you who are St. Philomena's co-workers. And in case you're not one of St. Philomena's co-workers, or if you've just joined the Rosary Crusade recently and want to know what that is, go to the website of AveFilomena.com. That's AveFilomena.com. And you'll be able to find there something telling you about how you can become one of St. Philomena's co-workers, above all, to help accomplish a great work that I really believe our Lord wants, wants to come about. And also you'll be, have the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass offered for you on the first Friday of each month. So St. Louis de Mumford continues today we continue now with the sixth day of preparation for the total consecration to Jesus through Mary. And St. Louis de Mumford will speak today about the heart of the battle. We, in any work, for those of you who, who work all day long or who've ever been in battle, the key is not just having a good idea or focusing on something good, but the more you can focus on the most important thing, the most essential aspect of what it is that's how you're being attacked or what you're trying to do that makes a tremendous difference in the success of your work. And so St. Louis de Mumford is going to try to sharpen our minds to something at the very heart of the battle. God has never made or formed but one enmity, but it is an irreconcilable one, which shall endure and develop even to the end. It is between Mary, his worthy mother, and the devil, between the children and the servants of the Blessed Virgin and the children and instruments of Lucifer. The most terrible of all the enemies which God has set up against the devil is his holy mother, Mary. He has inspired her, even since the days of the earthly paradise, though she existed then only in his idea, with so much hatred against that cursed enemy of God, with so much industry in unveiling the malice of that old serpent, with so much power to conquer, to overthrow, and to crush that proud, impious rebel, that he fears her not only more than all angels and men, but in some sense more than God himself. It is not that the anger, the hatred, and the power of God are not infinitely greater 
than those of the Blessed Virgin, for the perfections of Mary are limited. But it is first because Satan, being proud, suffers infinitely more from being beaten and punished by a little and humble handmaid of God, and her humility humbles him more than the divine power. And secondly, because God has given Mary such a great power against the devils that, as they have often been obliged to confess, in spite of themselves, by the mouths of the possessed, they fear one of her sighs for a soul more than the prayers of all the saints, and one of her menaces against them more than all other torments. What Lucifer has lost by pride, Mary gained by humility. What Eve has damned and lost by disobedience, Mary has saved by obedience. Eve, in obeying the serpent, has destroyed all her children together with herself and has delivered them to him. Mary, being perfectly faithful to God, has saved all her children and servants together with herself and has consecrated them to his majesty. God has not only set an enmity, but enmities, not simply between Mary and the devil, but between the race of the Holy Virgin and the race of the devil. That is to say, God has set enmities, antipathies, and secret hatreds between the true children and the servants of Mary and the children and servants of the devil. They do not love each other mutually. They have no inward correspondence with each other. The children of Belial, the slaves of Satan, the friends of the world, for it is the same thing, have always up to this time persecuted those who belong to our Blessed Lady and will in future persecute them more than ever just as of old Cain persecuted his brother Abel and Esau, his brother Jacob, who are the figures of the reprobate and predestinate. But the humble Mary will always have the victory over that proud spirit. It's good to recall. The humble Mary will always have the victory over that proud spirit. And so great a victory that she will go the length of crushing his head where his pride dwells. She will always discover the malice of the serpent. She will always counterwork his infernal minds and dissipate his diabolical counsels and will guarantee even to the end of time her faithful servants from his cruel claw. But the power of Mary over all the devils will especially break out in the latter times when Satan will lay his snares against her heel, that is to say her humble slaves and her poor children whom she will raise up to make war against him. They shall be little and poor in the world's esteem, and abased before all, like the heel, trodden underfoot, and persecuted as is the heel by the other members of the body. But in return for this they shall be rich in the grace of God, which Mary shall distribute to them abundantly. They shall be great and exalted before God in sanctity, superior to all other creatures by their animated zeal and leaning so strongly on the divine succor that with the humility of their heel in union with Mary, they shall crush the head of the devil and cause Jesus Christ to triumph. And he's continuing to speak now about this great uh, call to holiness, even if in a very hidden way that God wants to do now in our times through Our Lady. In a word, God wishes that His Holy Mother should be at present more known, more loved, more honored than she ever has been. This no doubt will take place if the predestinate enter with the grace and light of the Holy Ghost into the interior and perfect practice, which I will disclose to them shortly, that is right in this book, a little bit later on. Then they will see clearly, as far as faith allows, that beautiful star of the sea, they will arrive happily in harbor, following its guidance, in spite of the tempests and the pirates. They will know the grandeurs of that queen and will consecrate themselves entirely to her service as subjects and slaves of love. They will experience her sweetnesses and her maternal goodnesses, and they will love her tenderly like well-beloved children. 
they will know the mercies of which she is full and the need they have of her succor, and they will have recourse to her in all things as to their dear advocate and mediatrix with Jesus Christ. They will know what is the most sure, the most easy, the most short, and the most perfect means by which to go to Jesus Christ, and they will deliver themselves to Mary, body and soul, without reserve, that they may thus be all for Jesus Christ. But who shall be those servants, slaves and children of Mary? They shall be a burning fire of the ministers of the Lord, who shall kindle the fire of divine love everywhere, and sicut sagite in manu potentis, like sharp arrows in the hand of the powerful Mary, to pierce her enemies. They shall be the sons of Levi, well purified by the fire of great tribulation, and closely adhering to God, who shall carry the gold of love in their heart, the incense of prayer in their spirit, and the myrrh of mortification in their body. And they shall be everywhere the good odor of Jesus Christ, to the poor and to the little, while they shall be an odor of death to the great, to the rich, and to the proud worldlings. They shall be clouds thundering and flying through the air at the least breath of the Holy Ghost, who, without attaching themselves to anything, without being astonished at anything, without putting themselves in pain about anything, shall shower forth the rain of the Word of God and of life eternal. They shall thunder against sin. They shall storm against the world. They shall strike the devil and his crew and they shall strike further and further for life or for death with their two-edged sword of the word of God, all those to whom they shall be sent on the part of the Most High. They shall be the true apostles of the latter times, to whom the Lord of hosts shall give the word and the might to work marvels and to carry off the glory of the spoils of his enemies. They shall sleep without gold or silver and what is more without care in the middle of the other priests, ecclesiastics, and clerks, intermedios cleros. And yet they shall have the silvered wings of the dove to go with the pure intention of the glory of God and the salvation of souls, wheresoever the Holy Ghost shall call them. Neither shall they leave behind them in the places where they have preached anything but the gold of charity, which is the accomplishment of the whole law. In a word, we know that they shall be true disciples of Jesus Christ, who marching in the footsteps of his poverty, humility, contempt of the world, and charity, shall teach the straight way of God in the pure truth, according to the Holy Gospel, and not according to the maxims of the world, without putting themselves in pain about things or accepting persons without sparing, fearing, or listening to any mortal, however influential he may be. They shall have in their mouths the two-edged sword of the word of God. They shall carry on their shoulders the bloody standard of the cross, the crucifix in their right hand and the rosary in their left the sacred names of Jesus and Mary on their hearts and the modesty and mortification of Jesus Christ in their own behavior. These are the great men who shall come, but Mary shall be there by the order of the Most High to extend his empire over that of the impious, the idolaters, and the Mahometans. But when and how shall this be? God alone knows it is for us to hold our tongues, to pray, to sigh, and to wait. And so St. Louis de Mumford speaking about our time, let us give ourselves more fully to Our Lady already one day at a time and ask her to crush the head of the enemy, realizing that in behind every battle, the heart of every battle is our Lady and Satan. Of course, it's our Lord through Our Lady, but the, the sharp edge of the spear 
is Our Lady and Satan. And so the more that we realize that and draw close to Our Lady, the more that she can use us, the more that God can use us powerfully in the spiritual battle. God bless all of you. I'll look forward to seeing you for the Holy Rosary tomorrow.